Hello all. Welcome to the next video on Scratch for Arduino. In the previous video, we did see how to set up Scratch for Arduino on your computer. If you haven't watched it yet, please check the description box for the video link. In this video, we'll be looking on two examples using LED. Come, let's explore. Open the S4A software. You could find the searching board notification because still you haven't connected your Arduino board. If you connect your Arduino board, the searching board notification will go off. Click the control option. Select and drag when space key is pressed to the center of the window. The key of activation or the trigger key can be assigned as our wish by clicking on the drop down menu. I am setting the switch on trigger key as up arrow. Next, go to motion and click digital 13 on. The pin number can also be assigned as our wish. I go with 13. The code for switching on the LED is done. Next, let's do it for turning off the LED. Follow the process shown on the screen. For turning off LED, I set down arrow as the trigger key. Once the coding part is done, connect the anode of LED to pin number 13 of Arduino and cathode to crown. Once you are done connecting the LED, LED glows when up arrow is pressed and LED goes off when down arrow is pressed. LED on off uses digital communication. In digital communication, the message signal is discrete with two values that is high and low. LED fade in and fade out uses analog communication. In analog communication, the message signal is continuous with values ranging from 0 to 255. Click the control option, select and drag when flag is clicked to the center of the window. Next, add the forever loop. Next, go to motion, select and drag analog 9 value 255 to the center of the window. This command generates an analog pulse of the value you mentioned. The maximum value can be 255 and the minimum value can be 0. Here, I enter 255 as the value. Follow the process as shown in the video. Now, I give an analog value of 250. For the successive analog inputs, I keep reducing the value so that the LED brightness keeps reducing. Now, I start increasing the analog input value so that the LED's brightness keeps increasing.
Now, if you press the green flag, you can see the LED fading in and out.